Happy Saturday. Nine News Weather Impact Team Meteorologist Lauren Robinson here with your forecast and we're going to see big changes as we go through this weekend. We wake up early Saturday morning to some sunny skies, but don't let that deceive you. By Saturday afternoon, lots of rainfall starting to move in all across Colorado, but the urban corridor is looking to be the last area to really see that rain fill in. By Saturday evening, we're looking for that rain to finally take place and all across the state. Heavy rain showers continue with some mountain snow through the overnight hours and into early Sunday morning before the system finally moves out Sunday afternoon. So as we take a closer look, this uh, model shows the rain arriving a little bit later in the afternoon. So by around 6 o'clock, the front range still just seeing very spotty kind of isolated rain showers before it really gets filled in by 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the evening and stays pretty heavy through the overnight hours and into early Sunday. We're also going to watch for that snow in the foothills and in the high country. All of this moves out by Sunday afternoon afternoon. As far as rain totals, downtown Denver could get maybe a quarter of an inch to half an inch, but we're looking for surrounding areas to get more rain with a half an inch to maybe one inch totals in some spots. To the south, we do have a marginal risk for severe weather where we could see some stronger storms near the San Luis Valley and far southern portions of the I-25 corridor. These areas in green are looking for gusty winds, heavy downpours, and then some lightning and thunder added to that. As we switch from rain to snow, the high country and foothills looking for several inches of snow from this system. Some areas like Eldora projected to get over six inches of snow. Other areas are under a winter weather advisory from noon Saturday until noon Sunday. This will include Rocky Mountain National Park, Mountains of Summit County, Mosquito Range, Indian Peaks. These areas are looking for four to nine inches and the high elevations of Pikes Peak could see four to 11 inches. Outside of that, temperatures will be cooling. Highs will be maxing out in the upper 60s to low 70s for the eastern half of the state, 50s and 60s in the foothills and high country. Denver's looking like we could see a high near 69 degrees. Other warmer areas could see those temperatures in the low 70s. So our weather impact days will be for the second half of our Saturday into the first half of our Sunday. Biggest impacts being the heavy rain and snowfall across the area. We get a little more rain Monday afternoon and then we start to dry out with more seasonal weather toward the end of next week.